Well, hello Zentangle friends. This is Nancy Domnauer, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and today I'd like to share with you a new pattern that I've been having fun with. All right. The pattern we're going to do today is called Ravel or Ravel, and we'll do it up here. I've already started a tile with patterns Fife and Gingham and Pokey Root. All right, so let's go ahead. Just get out your Micron 01 pen. And in this last area, we're going to put down some tiny orbs. And we're going to connect them with the S curve. So kind of do the takeoff and land. You start at um, 12 o'clock up here and do an S curve taking off and landing down at six o'clock on the lower one. Okay. And then you aura it to the right. Thin aura line and aura it to the left. Easy enough, and do it again. <laughs> and it's called a tethered aura because it comes from a point and it always meets back at that same point. That's so pretty. Let's do another one. We can maybe just randomly sprinkle a little dot anywhere. And again, S curve from 12 to six, aura to the right and aura to the left. And you see how I'm taking off in the same spot and landing down there. So then you just proceed to fill in. Let's do a few more of these. Um, and just have fun with it. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Take your time. And you'll just fill in this whole area. Um, what gets really fun is if you can do some holoboss style. So let me put a little orb way down here and take off from that point and hot on out towards this uh, design that's already there and then just tuck it in. So same idea, but you're doing it holoboss style, drawing behind. Do you see that? It doesn't have to be an exact number of lines each time. You do your first one and then do one to the right and one to the left and then a second one. You can stop there or if you want it really bulbous, you can do that, okay? Just keep turning your tile, and just randomly sprinkling in these dots. It's very meditative and relaxing. And you'll see that this tile has a collection of uh, different types of patterns. I like to mix in some organic, some grid, a dot grid pattern, and now we're doing a kind of a linear pattern full of lines. Okay, and then in a moment I'm going to show you how to embellish this. Here, we'll do one here that's really even bigger, and you'll see some of them are bigger than others. That's just my style. You can look up on Tangle Patterns and on the Zentangle Mosaic app to see other videos of how other artists do this pattern, but I've been having lots of fun with this. I just love the movement, and here I'm going to make one that's kind of tucked into behind the pokey root. All right, so over time, this will get all filled in. Um, but like I said, and I'm going to show you now how to do another cool little design element. Let me zoom in a little more. All right, let's focus on one of these uh, uh, pods. And I'm just going to take my uh, pen and in one of the openings here, I'm doing a little itty bitty series of orbs, tiny little circles. You don't have to call them circles because they're not perfect, but just find any one and uh, one of the middle open sections and I love the look of this. I'll do another one and then I'll show you some sample tiles I have. So I hope you have fun with uh, Ravel. Um, here it is on, oops, completed on a circular tile as Zendala. Look how nice that looks with those little perfs, those little orbs. Here's a 
Fly Tile I did recently with Ravel, Paul Barrow, and Tipple, and Prawn Tom's over there. All right, so I just want you to give it a try and have fun. If you have questions, reach out, and uh, happy tangling, and have fun discovering new things. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.